hello friends welcome back today we're making this delicious yummy contemporary stew ghana palava sauce i hope you guys try it and enjoy it as much as i did so quickly we'll just pour water on the cut contemporary leaves and boil it aside whilst we do that we just go ahead and also prepare our stew the contemporary stew so with me here i have my pan and my palm oil now it's um, not too hot but then in between so what i've added is just momone we call it momone in ghana it's salted fish in english i guess I, I i hope i got it right so this is going to flavor add more flavor to the palm oil so i'll fry this and then i'll just go ahead and add my onions to the momone with the palm oil so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to fry it for some time for all the lovely and the aroma to lovely aroma to come out of the onion and then we'll just go ahead and add the pepper. So I have my pepper. This is grinded pepper, onion, a little bit of garlic. Yes, basically that's it. So I grinded it as always in the asanka. I'm going to stir and then we allow it to boil for about two minutes maximum just go ahead with the stew so at this point i've been able to stir it nicely and gently i'll go ahead and add shrimp cube this is a half of the tablet the reason i'm using half is momoni is salty so of course you wouldn't want to add more salt to the pepper so even with the pepper i didn't add any salt i just went ahead and i put it in the stew just like that so the shrimp tablet is going to serve as salt so i have my chopped tomatoes which i've also added to the stew at this point i'll just allow this to simmer for some time and then i'll go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients this is smoked mackerel in ghana we call it salmon so it's smoked salmon i'll just go ahead and add it stir and i bought some willy kumasi we call it kehro in uh, nigeria i understand it's pomo correct me and leave a, um, a comment down below if i'm not saying it right but that's what i heard so this is going to add some a little bit of flavor to it even though you think pomo or willy is not flavorful at this point i boil it and it was very soft i like it that way so i add it to the stew for it to absorb the deliciousness of the stew yeah and then we can go ahead and enjoy it it's very tasty but mind you guys whilst i was doing this i ha i added salt to the willy so that's why you can see that i've not added salt to this stew at all so here i'm going to add my agushi to um the stew the agushi is going to serve as eggs to the stew but it's also very nutritious for us here in the um, african continent so we love it we really love it so here i made it into a paste and i added a little bit of salt the salt is actually going to help for it to you know form that egg kind of just in case you use egg to prepare this dish the way it will form is the same way the salt will help the aguches to form so here i give it a very gentle stir i'll cover it for some time on a low heat for the aguche to you know do a thing in the stew so that we can enjoy it very well at this point guys if you love what you see kindly subscribe and leave a comment like share with your friends so now i'll go ahead and give it a gentle stir you can see it i'm not stirring it like vigorously you know i'm just taking my time because it's still forming so i'm taking my time with the stirring anyways it should be okay in about the next minute so i'll go ahead and cover it again and then i'll wait for about a minute open and then we can just go ahead and add the contemporary this stew is very simple to make but i know you will love every bit of it at this point i also want to thank my subscribers hey i'm so grateful for the support i see you all i'm grateful 
thank you so much but continue to share this video with your family with your friends and hey let's grow the channel together so now the contumery which was on fire for about two three minutes is done so i'll just go ahead and then add it to the stew here we have to break the contumery apart so that it meets it messes very well with the already prepared stew so you can see that's what i'm attempting to do you just take your time and then you know mix it well at this point the stew is virtually done but what it is is the contumery also needs flavor so you stir it well and then for the contumery to absorb the flavors of the stew and yes basically you are done with your contumery stew this you can enjoy with your yam you can enjoy with your rice or even fanti kenke in ghana you can enjoy this with fanti kenke as well so yes i had some two eggs that i wanted to you know add to the stew so i just made holes into the contour stew and then i added it so basically that's it cover it for the egg to also you know get cooked and then we're done so yes guys it's as easy as that this we enjoyed with the yam you can also enjoy with rice and voila we are done so guys this is the contumery stew very easy to do and very simple please try my recipe i know you will love it i am so grateful like i said please subscribe just don't watch and go kindly give it kindly subscribe and thank you so much for watching Bye bye